And welcome to the syrup. So when I asked what people wanted to see in the syrup, a lot of people just kind of wanted to know more about what I do in my everyday life. You know, who is the waffler behind Will It Waffle? So I thought maybe I would do a sort of day in the life-ish kind of thing today. For those of you who don't know, my full-time job is working as the communications director for the Harry Potter Alliance. So I lead all of our external messaging, I also produce our video blogs, and I get to travel to lots of events all the time to go speak about what we do and talk about new media and youth activism and fun things like that. But I do telecommute, I work from home, so my life isn't usually that great for video vlogging because I don't ever get to see all the cool people that I work with. I can't just like pull out my camera and put them on the vlog, although I will see them all this weekend. And I saw one of them this morning on my couch. Yeah, last night I went to the Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers, Driftless Pony Club, Harry and the Potters, Rob Scal and Andrew Wong show, and it was awesome. And afterwards we all went out to a bar, and I didn't get home until 4, and then I woke up at 7.30 to start doing work. Oh, I actually just got a package from DFTBA. I think I know what it is, but let's find out. Aha! Yes, this is what I thought it was! Check these out, they're so pretty. These were perk fundraisers in the last two Harry Potter Alliance fundraising campaigns on Indiegogo. And so I got these shipped to me so that I, I can send out um, all the perks to people who ordered these bookmarks. You ordered one, I got them, and now it's totally my fault if you don't get them soon. Maybe I can start working on them tonight, but I might need to order envelopes to ship them in. I also got, last night I actually got something that is going to be in the next Harry Potter Alliance fundraiser, which will be in early fall. I'm not gonna show you all of what it is, but I'll show you a quick teaser. Some squid just graffitied on the perk that I was trying to make, so it's gonna be a little bit less valuable now. That freaking squid. Although I will take this moment to just say that even though he is a vandal, you should check out the Giant Squid Stravaganza. He's got a new podcast called Cephalopodcast. Download it on iTunes, listen to it, your life will be better. You're welcome. Right now, I'm waiting for this Hollaback video blog to export. I've been working as a video consultant for Hollaback for a while. They're doing a series of videos about anti-street harassment. You can check those out here. Usually, I don't edit or film videos during work hours, but I needed to do some quick edits for that one. In a few minutes here, I've got a meeting with some professors at the University of Arizona. We are putting together an academic volume about youth activism, sort of in the digital age, and I'm writing a chapter about the Harry Potter Alliance. And my book revisions are due soon! And in this meeting, I'm pretty much asking for an extension, so yeah. After work today, I gotta go get a haircut, because this is getting out of control. People have been leaving comments about how out of control it is, so I guess it's time to get a haircut. Alright, I'm back from the barber, got a haircut, it's short now. This is actually, I think, the shortest I've ever had it on the sides, but I like it. Nice summer do. Now I'm going to try to finish up some work. Also, I might need to go get some tacos before I finish work because it just seems like a taco day. Tacos secured, and I think we're gonna take a quick Game of Thrones break. But first, I want to try, I've never had the original tamarind flavor of Yaritos. This was actually the first one they ever made. Oh, that's cool. There's like a, a tiny bit of a spice to it, but it's it's mostly just kind of fruity. I like it. Can't really describe it yet, but I like it. Good morning, it is now the next day. It is Tuesday. I'm about to get a call from someone from London whose organization wants us to help them get more kids around the world in schools. I have six meetings today, so I'm gonna eat this delicious breakfast that I made and drink some coffee out of John Green's head. A day of meetings! Also, I don't know what to do with my hair yet. That looks weird right now. I gotta do something with it. All right, we are two meetings down, refilled the coffee, managed to have enough time after this last meeting to quickly file some receipts for our finance department, and while I was doing that, I caught up on episodes of Podcast Because Awesome, which is the podcast that Hank has been making while he's been on tour. I really like that podcast. I like the concept of it. I like that Hank basically just walked around with his phone recording for like the entire tour and turned it into like 20 minute episodes every day. It couldn't always work. You need to like be doing something exciting. Like he was around a lot of fun friends all day every day for like 10 days um, and he was doing cool things and he was going places and I don't know how many other podcasts there have been like that. I think that's definitely what happens when you take a video blogger and have him make a podcast. <laughs> also, Hank is really good at like exploring 
new and creative ways to use media. And I think it definitely inspired the format of this video today. I've heard from a lot of musicians who have gone on tours that things that were very helpful for them was reading like biographies of musicians, reading like logistically how it works to go on tour. So I can imagine that this podcast could be potentially very influential for like up and coming musicians. I gotta get into this meeting now. You should listen to podcasts because awesome. Fourth meeting of the day now with uh, Claudia. Say hi, Claudia. <laughs> We gotta go talk about stuff now. All right, I'm done with my meeting with Claudia and I also just finished a lesson for a project that I'm working on. I am embarking on this project that's gonna take about a year and uh, to do it, I have to brush up on this old skill of mine that I was never very good at to begin with. And I'm not telling you what the project is because number one, something might happen to make it not happen, but also because it's the kind of thing that I think will have a better impact. Like, you will enjoy it more if you don't know too much about it before you see it. All right, all of the meetings for the day are now finished, and my face is really red. I don't know why. And I ran into the city really quick to do some errands, and now I'm back, and I am exporting a video because that is all that I do in my life. And I'm gonna try to do a bit more work tonight because there's just a lot to be done. But I wanted to finally end this instead of a day in the life you got like 36 hours in the life. Anyways, future The Syrup videos will be much shorter and snappier and hopefully more thoughtful. Um, but I thought this would be a fun experiment to see how this format works. If you like this format, let me know down in the comments. But thank you if you've made it this far for watching <laughs> this first The Syrup video. And thank you to everyone who came up to me at Tour Because Awesome and said how much they liked Willow Waffle and the few of you who said you like the syrup and I'm like, hasn't really started yet, but thank you. Thanks to all of you and I'll see you next time.